Good afternoon. Welcome to this tutorial on how to easily redirect uh, a subdomain or another domain going to to another domain to another desired domain. We we will be discussing two easy steps to do that. Okay, we will be discussing the cPanel method, and another is uh, an easy way. Another easy way to by uploading an HTML file via FTP. All right. So a scenario that we have here is that we previously have beta, a beta subdomain URL or a subdomain when we were still working on this website. But right immediately after the beta or the staging website is already finished or has been completed already, we immediately move that to the actual domain, to the live domain, the parent domain, meaning it's already done. It should now be live. So therefore, what happens here, this uh, original subdomain, just in case the client will still be accessing this for some reason, he forgot, he forgot that there's already a live domain here or the parent domain, just to make sure, and also for our exercise today, to make sure that anyone who accesses this subdomain will not get a 403 or a 404 because the files have been moved already. Um, we need to put a redirect so that anyone who accesses this will automatically be directed to here. So this is a useful example if you want to redirect a subdomain to a parent domain or any URL for that matter or any domain to be redirected here. All right, by cPanel method, the number one method, at least you need to have access to your cPanel, to your website cPanel. cPanel is uh, the platform that, you know, most of us use to, to host our websites. So cPanel will look something like this. And immediately look for redirect. Click on redirects. Okay. And once we have that, you get a interface similar to this okay add redirect a permanent redirect will notify the visitor's browser to update any bookmarks that are linked to the page that is being redirected there are two kinds of uh, redirect two types one is permanent anything um, while another is a temporary redirect all right okay this since what we have our scenario is a permanent redirect already we'd probably delete this later on but you know uh, and also for for the reason of this exercise we want to redirect this subdomain okay this subdomain is already in place here because this has been created already earlier when we when we did the when we were designing or we were working on the subdomain <laughs> so we created the subdomain earlier so that should be found where do you create subdomains <clears throat> from cpanel just type in domain normally that's where you create subdomains from this interface and as you can see we have created earlier when we started working on the website on a staging or a beta version of the website we created a subdomain so therefore going back to redirect we now have the first option is it's asking for what url or domain or subdomain are you going to redirect so since we have already created this before and that's where the original website was uh, stored we simply select the subdomain which we want to redirect and Probably at, the, at this field, we, we do not need to put in anything anymore because we already identified the location of the files or of the subdomain that we want to redirect. We simply need to enter where it will be redirected to. And in our case, we simply want to put this in. Question is, do we really need to put in the trailing slash or not? That's a common question. but to to easily check on that simply go to your subdomain put that in on the browser and click enter and 
you might not see a trailing slash here, but if you copy paste this, copy and paste that URL from the field, it will give you a URL with a trailing slash or an ending slash. So better or best as a best practice, simply copy paste what is being served on your browser. So it has a trailing slash. And the question now is, will the redirect happen only with or without wah, wah, wah or www? Whether will, oops, I accidentally click on enter. We need to go back and delete this again, you know, just to make sure. Sorry about that. Okay, again, going back, quickly select on beta that I select, the subdomain you want to re be redirected. And from here, paste the URL where it will be redirected. In this case, the parent URL. And this portion here, it's asking whether it will redirect uh, URLs with wah, 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 whether beta will have wah, wah, wah or not. Will it be redirected with that? using this or not so it really doesn't matter with or without wah, 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 it should both both variants or formats should be redirected here so therefore we we want to choose both with or without wah, wah. and just in case the original url or subdomain has any other urls like about contact and any wildcard meaning any wildcard, meaning any asterisk after that. What we want is to redirect everything, which is the case. Even if it has any inner pages, all of these should be redirected to here for convenience. That's what we want. So therefore, we want to put in the wildcard redirect and simply click Add and it, let us see. By going back, the redirect has been saved here already. So if you made a mistake like I did earlier, just simply delete and recreate again. Okay, or when done already, head over to another browser just to, you know, check that the redirection is really in place. Remove any cache to be sure. Control Shift Delete. I'm using another browser, you know, just to be sure. And from here, what we want if if someone will be accessing for example this by entering it will now redirect to the main domain what if someone will be accessing with wah 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 let us test that it will also redirect to the correct place what if without wah, 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 and it has some, you know, like about us, let us see, and click this, and paste this here to check, enter, and it will now redirect to the, oh, this is good, right? So, uh, what I'm saying is it will try to find if there is a corresponding URL here. What if someone, a non-existing URL in the old version like ASDF, blah, 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 a non-existing URL, it will try to find something that's equivalent to here. But since it cannot find anything, at the very least, it redirects to here and it says there is no URL found on this new redirected domain. So I think it's just a matter of, you know, uh, fixing this, what to do for for 404s from this website, on the new website, on the production website. And that's another topic that we can do. All right. So how about another example using an HTML file? All right. So if we want to use the same example, we'd probably need to delete this first, you know, 
to do example number two. Okay. Go back. All right. This method is an example uh, that will require you uploading something to your server, at least on the account of, 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 your, of your website, whether via cPanel file manager or via FTP. Okay. All right. So if you are not really comfortable with using this method, maybe the HTML file would be a better solution for you. Simply Google search for redirect using HTML file. And you get resources something like this. Okay, let's go. Let's use the example from HubSpot. And what HubSpot is saying is that you simply need to have an, a file. Okay, let's do the file using, using Notepad. And it says, just copy this code, meta code. This is a meta HTML tag, which you need to continue by, you know, completing this. So what it says is that there should be a directive called meta tag that has this, you know, sort of a command, you know, anything this is, if someone will be accessing this, the subdomain, this meta tag will should be put inside here. The, 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 from the location or from the URL or subdomain that you want redirected. This should be put in here. All right. The original. And therefore, the directive wants you to put in a URL, a target URL, where this will be redirected. And therefore, we want this redirected to here, right? So simply copy that URL, put it here paste that new website URL value with that, okay? And once we have that, we save this file. What's the time delay? Um, how many seconds or the time uh, that the redirect should take place? But we want a real-time redirect. Sometimes you want something like, you know, uh, a few seconds before the users will be redirected. You put something here. But otherwise, do not put anything. Save that. And what does it say? It says save that as an index.html. All right. So therefore, if we save that as an index.html, then we put that in. Here as an index.html. All right. And we simply need to upload that, whether using file manager, okay? So head over to the location of the, the subdomain where the original folder or subdomain is, has been created. Before, it, this has the whole website files here, but we have already moved that. And upload that file to here. Upload and it's asking for a the file. So we simply click or drag click and drag or probably select and upload the index.html that we did, which is this one. This is the index.html that we did. I can now safely close that. And once that's done, that's uploaded. In short, if we refresh this, the file manager, it now has index.html inside that location. All right. And therefore, whenever someone will be accessing this, the browser would immediately try to look for, for any file within that location. And if it finds something 
any in any file named as index, whether index HTML, whether index PHP, whether index something else. But since what we did is HTML, it will immediately read the index.html. That's how browsers work. It will try to find any index file if it has one. Therefore, if someone accesses this, And click enter, it will read the index.html and it will read the redirect that we have put in place there. And it now redirects to here. So I hope it, this helps. We have already tested that everything is working. All right. Between the two, I'd, I'd rather use the cPanel method because it takes care of everything already. With the index.html, it, it does not really take care of, for example, the wildcards. Of course, you can. We can build that up to take care of the wildcards, but you know the C panel is easier. All right. Okay. So I guess this helps. And if you have questions, just let us know. And check out our website and the services that we do. We do a lot of web de web design, web development, and a lot of SEO. And we also host uh our clients so we do we also have web hosting plans all right thank you